with an eighth note rhythm strum up and down in constant rhythm for one bar. Now press down the three fingers that make an E major to hear the chord, then immediately relax to go back to the muted strings. Try this example and remember to keep your strumming hand constant so you can concentrate on pressing down for the chord in the right places. Once you are comfortable with this technique, come up with some of your own rhythm patterns using some chords of your own choosing. As with anything you learn in these lessons, I think it's important that you experiment with the techniques in your own way. It's not only a great way to unleash some creativity and improve your playing, but also important to build upon some elements of your own unique style. Now let's apply this technique to add more flavour to our Spanish idea.